here it is, the brand new Lap Valley Farm Creamery and Cafe located down Old Philadelphia Pike, past the town of Intercourse. It is brand spanking new and it is a beautiful place. Stay tuned to get a quick tour. Okay, so as we take a look around, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this place. First of all, the hours, that's the most important thing. They're open Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and then Saturday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Technically speaking, their address is 4040 Old Philadelphia Pike in Gordonville. So if you're looking for it, that would be what shows up. This new location opened about a month ago in early August, and it is the second location of the Lap Valley Farm ice cream. According to Lancaster Online, the owner, David Lapp, reported that they will run uh, all the ice cream production out of this new facility, and they should be doing that within a month or two. And eventually, they'll move the entire production, full production, over to this new building within the next year or so. So really, technically speaking, this is more than a creamery and cafe. It's also an ice cream plant where they actually make it. I'm just going to put a plug in right now for them to offer a tour someday and us to be able to see them making the ice cream. That'd be so much fun. Of course, if you have not been to the original Lap Valley Farm, I highly encourage you because it is truly a working farm. You can see their Jersey cows. You can see their baby Jersey cows. You can walk around the farm and just get a good look at it. It's a really cool place to go, and I'm going to make a video about that very soon. So Lap Valley Farm also has retail locations at Kitchen Kettle Village, and they also have it at the Green Dragon Farmer's Market. So... Those are two other places you can visit and still get this delicious ice cream. Uh, this new place has inside seating for about 40 and then uh, nearly 50 people outside. So Lap Valley Farm shares this building with Emma's Gourmet Popcorn. And I'm going to show you that at the end of the video. But it's just a great location. I think this is going to be a really cool hangout for locals and visitors alike because there's so much space. It's just such a great location being on one of the main roads of Lancaster County. And really, if you're coming from Philly, you're going to pass right by this on the way to Lancaster. So great location for a travel snack. <laughs> they do have a little um, cafe area with some fried foods mainly. And then they have the ice cream area. I'm just going to say it is the very, very best peanut butter ripple, peanut butter fudge, whatever you want to call it, ice cream I have ever had in my life because they give you humongous chunks of peanut butter. So delicious. I hope you enjoyed this walk around video. It is a wonderful place, but not only that, it has some of the best ice cream I've ever had. It's all made from Jersey cows, which have a higher fat content, cream content. So they make very rich ice cream. So it's very creamy and delicious ice cream. Uh, not too sweet, which I kind of like. So come here, give it a try, get some ice cream, get some ice cream to go. There's milk and meat and all sorts of stuff here, snacks, and then head over to the popcorn place. So a great place for some pick-me-up snacks. Now for a quick tour of Emma's Gourmet Popcorn. This Amish-owned company was started by its namesake, Emma Fisher, in 2006 in her shed on her home property. She retired in 2010, at which point her kids took over the company and ran it from their home. Now, not only do they sell their popcorn solely out of this new beautiful facility, but they also pop and bag all their products here. So another one-stop shop for this business. And good news for us out-of-towners, they ship and have a great selection online for us to choose from. And just in case you missed it, they are closing their old facility in Earl Township. Another exciting part of Emma's is the Crepery, where they make fresh crepes to order. This is another great place to eat local homemade food, have some coffee, sit, relax, and chat, and maybe even catch a glimpse of this beloved scene. So I know I'm really excited about this new place. It's just such a wonderful place to gather and hang out with friends, either outside or inside. Great for all seasons, great for larger crowds. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how they do here. I think they're going to do great. Hope you enjoyed the tour and enjoy your next adventure. Hopefully it'll be soon at this wonderful, yummy place.